David, as you can see, I'm doing some cooking again today. I'm cooking some steak. I'm actually at the park right now, so I got everything set out on the table. It's actually a very nice, beautiful day out today. I'm sitting here, um, well, standing here right next to a um, little small river thing here. So, got some steak going and on the outside this time, not inside the van. I uh, forgot to bring out some stuff, actually like the salt and pepper, so I'm going to get that, but I'll get you guys another shot here in a few minutes. Alright, bye. Okay guys, so this is what's left as far as my steak. Um, I would have showed you the other part that I had, but this place is too packed today as far as this park, so I didn't want to draw too much of attention. But um, I'm just warming this actually back up right now. i got to clean this uh, pan up though later on. It's going to be a little bit of a job, but I'm outside, so it won't be too bad though. Because that way I won't have to deal with it inside the van though. I'll get with you guys here in a little bit with some more stuff though on this video for today. Hi guys, this is David again. <clears throat> um, as I was talking about before, this park day actually is very much packed. There's actually a bunch of people at the park today, so I want to still try to pretty much keep a low profile, so that's why I wasn't really trying to film the whole thing as such. Because um, I didn't want a whole bunch of people seeing what was going on. Uh, of course, since I'm still stand in my van then I want to try to keep a little profile as much as I can now later down the line when um, when the, when I end up getting myself a truck camper that could very well change <clears throat> but for right now that's what I want to do I want to still try to pretty much keep a little profile as much as I can but another thing I wanted to do though right now is also show you what I've got recently as well and that is a new sleeping bag hopefully you can see this I'm gonna try to bring this over in the light a little bit I got the door partially open but um, as you can see it's a very thin sleeping bag um, it's supposed to be rated for 40 degrees but I can tell you from experience and I've heard other people talk about it too when it comes to these type of sleeping bags um, if it says 40 degrees then you better expect 50 degrees would be more on the side of what it would be rated for um, as far as the weather goes and plus too a few nights ago it was actually down to about uh, 34 degrees I think it was and you can feel the cold um, and I don't have no more propane in my um, in my propane tank either because I haven't really needed it though because I was using my extreme cold sleeping bag still for a while my army sleeping bag but anyways it is a decent looking sleeping bag and because it's so um, thin and so uh, that's another technique you might want to think about sometimes I keep um, um, dryer sheets in here because it helps it to smell good and keeps it a little bit fresh as well too until you get to the point where we're going to take it to the laundromat and clean it which I might actually do that today come to think about it but anyways um, because it is so thin though it does also roll up though real easy and it's actually uh, very lightweight as well it weighs I think 1.42 uh, 1 pound 42 ounces I think is what it said Something I don't know I can't remember exactly what it said um, let's see if this one here. Let's see, 1.94 pounds is what it says. So, like less than two pounds is what it weighs. It's by um, Ozark Trail. Is the name of the company. It's um, like I said, not the the best sleeping bag in the world, but uh, considering the fact that it is so lightweight, and it should be real easy to um, try to see if you can focus in here. But it should be related to um, clean too and pack up if I need to and take to the laundromat and so forth. So that's another reason why I went ahead and grabbed it. And I mean as far as the weather goes, I mean it's it is pretty much spring to summer for sure now. It's springtime for sure. And um, like today it's like 71 degrees, so it's beautiful outside. As you can see from the previous clip when I was doing my um cookout that I was doing. But I also too had to um, get a um, one of these egg crates um, fold up type of um, pads as well to put underneath it because I mean it's so thin I mean there's no type of cushion there really at all I mean the cushioning there is like pretty much next to nothing so you definitely have to have one of the pads to go with it too though and later down the line I was thinking about maybe even getting one of those um, what's it called uh, uh, mattress topper um, 
um, I can't remember the name of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. That um, the the foam mattress topper thing jigger that feels real good. But I might go ahead and get one of those um, as well later down the line. But uh, actually, too, what I think I'm going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and also get this thing folded up and put back into the bag so that way you can see how small it is too because it's actually the smallest sleeping bag I've ever seen too as well. So that was another thing I did like about it though as well. So. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and get that folded up and show you guys here in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back again. So I went ahead and folded it all the way up. And you can see here it's actually very small. But just to give you a comparison of two, because sometimes it's hard to really tell on the cameras and stuff. But I went ahead and checked it out. But it's about um, the same width as a regular $1 bill across. So that shows you as far as the width on it. And I already checked it out too as far as the length. The length I would say would be about one and a half of a dollar bill so that shows you how small this thing really is as far as when you get it folded up so i thought that was pretty neat though because this is actually the smallest um sleeping bag that i've ever seen before though out of all the times i've ever been to stores and camping areas and stuff like that and when it comes to camping gear and stuff i mean there might even be one smaller but i mean as far as what i've seen anyway so far this is the smallest one i've seen so i thought that was kind of neat too though but um, it's got the thing here that you can fold over it as far as when you get it all folded up inside the bag and then you can use the strap things to strap it shut and everything. So definitely a pretty neat bag but like I said too when it comes to the degrees don't count on that being 40 degrees. Um, count more toward around 50 or so. Um, 45 to 50 degrees would be more accurate as far as um, being able to use this thing though. But like I said it's spring in fact it's like 70 I think it's like 71 degrees today as it is too though so definitely warm plus in the van too it was definitely warm today too as well uh but i think that's about it for right now guys as far as what i wanted to show you i'll probably make another video separate because i think i um got another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about too that might help some of you guys out too as well but yeah that's it for this one though so thanks for watching guys of course as always if you have any questions or concerns let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as possible Thanks and have a great day.